Have you ever tried to kill an ant? It just bounces right back up, just like you didn't even squish it. Terrifying. <laughs> Today we are doing an extreme full face of avant-garde makeup inspired by none other than Ant-Man. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Cindy and I've been doing a makeup challenge for the past three days so far and I will be creating 14 days of Marvel superhero inspired makeup art. My makeup art is high fashion, extremely maximalist, which is opposite of minimalist, but today I'm actually going to do something that is a little bit more compact. I believe that there have been two Ant-Man films made. How many are there? Hold up. According to the Marvel Studios website, there's the Ant-Man and the Wasp, which was released in 2018. There's Ant-Man from 2015. And of course, Ant-Man appears in like the Avengers. We're not gonna count those. Nope. So far, I've done Shang-Chi, I've done the Incredible Hulk, and I'm gonna be doing either Captain Marvel or Spider-Man next. So comment down below right now if you want the next video to be about Captain Marvel or Spider-Man. I'm really, really hoping that I can do this challenge. It is a personal endurance challenge that I have yet to complete. I've done a five day makeup challenge. If you haven't checked that video out, it's gonna be a link up here somewhere. Otherwise, stay tuned. We're about to transform our face in the best way possible into a Ant-Man inspired, Ant-Man, an Ant-Man inspired makeup look. From what I understand with Ant-Man, he shrinks and becomes like the size of an ant and has the strength of an ant. And I believe like if there's a bunch of ants, they can actually carry like, they can lift a whole ass truck. That's why ants are actually super terrifying. Have you ever tried to kill an ant? It just bounces right back up, just like you didn't even squish it. Terrifying. <laughs> I took pieces from the costume, I took pieces from the movie, and I also took visual cues from the poster to grab colors, to grab shapes. I just remember specifically when they had to send people back in time or when they had to shrink people. I forget which one it was, it's been a while. They had to essentially like burst their atoms. We are doing a very deconstructed look inspired by that concept. What is the logic behind it? Have no idea, but a girl can dream. Ready, set, shrink! I'm gonna go about my base in the way that I would do my regular makeup. I'm pretty much done with my base. I'm going to powder a little bit, add some highlights, and then we're gonna start with the actual deconstructed design on top of it. If you're liking this video so far, please go ahead and give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, it would be really awesome if you'd help this channel grow by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single week when I post a new video inspired by a superhero. I also have blooper reels and other exclusive videos that are available every single week on my Patreon community. So if you wanna see all of that, pass my YouTube channel, then join my Patreon community today. Yes. Okay, now we're at the fun part. We're gonna start using lipsticks and just create the look together. Let's start with a layer of red and then we're gonna go blue slash black and then white at the very end. It seems like the white's actually at the very bottom. There's blue that overlaps on top of it and also the red. So actually, I'm gonna have to start off with white. Who knew? I will be honest, I struggled to actually get to my studio today. Basically, I've never driven before in my life because I've always lived in major cities that don't require driving and I never really had a necessity of learning how to drive since everyone around me who knew how to drive would always offer to just pick me up and drop me off so I've always been getting around it. It was very rare for me to meet people that didn't know how to drive because in the US most people learn how to drive at like 15 or 16 versus me and a lot of the people that I grew up with, we never learned how to drive. And no one in my family besides my dad knows how to drive. I had a driver growing up who would take us to school. And then when I got to college, I started working. I lived in like Boston and New York, so I never had to drive. But I'm just really, really happy that I decided not to postpone it. And I am sitting here right now doing a look and it happens to be Ant-Man, which is a lot more minimalistic than all my other drawings. So I'm kind of happy that this was the design I went with. When I hit my 20s, I started getting really scared of the idea of learning how to drive. If you're a child and you learn something like gymnastics, you're less likely to be scared of falling. But as you get older, things like learning how to swim or learning how to bike, if you've never done it before as a kid, it's really hard to pick them up. And driving was one of those skills that everybody had except for me. So I kind of had this fear in my head that 
I would never learn how to drive and I just accepted it and the thought of having to go behind a wheel terrified the crap out of me. So I bring this up because I recently passed my permit test because I decided, you know, I live in California, I need to learn how to drive. I just felt like it was time for me to get out of my head and out of this fear. After I passed my permit test, I had my first driving lesson today. And it was a two hour behind the wheel driving lesson. For people who have never driven before, it is very overwhelming to be behind the wheel in the city driving and having to pay attention to the street signs and all the things that you just learned about road rules and not hitting other people and understanding who has the right of way. It's not second nature to me, so I was really, really nervous. It took a lot of my mental energy and when I got home, I was really, really happy and satisfied with my first two hours of driving in the city, but I was exhausted. I actually was so mentally exhausted, I had to take a nap in order to recover. I was physically exhausted from adulting today. Now normally when I do makeup challenges that last several days in a row and the challenge is to maintain consistency, I try to set up a routine in my schedule so I get really, really hyped up and I know exactly when I'm gonna do things, when I'm gonna eat, and I can tackle all the things that I need to get done during the day for my business or for you know other pieces of content before I sit down and actually film for production. Unfortunately, what I forget to account for is my own mental capacity and sometimes it goes into overdrive and then I physically cannot do anything for the rest of the day. So when that happens, I do one of two things. I nap or I eat just to get my energy back up. Day three complete. If you like this video, then make sure to check out the previous superhero one that I did. Yay! 11 days to go! As usual, stay creative, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! They also surprisingly smell like lemongrass. I just wanted to mention that.